ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobo the Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Now, today we're checking out Mini Airways, which uh, you may be fooled uh, at first look at thinking that this is made by the developers of Mini Metro and Mini Motorways, uh, but in fact, it's not, uh, but it is quite an interesting game nonetheless. Let's jump into things and see what we have got in store. So, um, at, at its heart, this is kind of a management game. Uh, the premise is quite simple. You have to manage an airport, and much like in mini motorways, mini metro, etc., um, you kind of do the routing, and you kind of get upgrades at the end of the day. Uh, now, uh, we have planes coming in. Uh, we can basically do two things at the moment. We can tell these planes to head in a specific direction on a specific heading, or uh, we can get them to land at the uh, at the runway here. Now, we're playing on London, and there is only one runway in London, and that is fine. Uh, we also have this little queue down here. Uh, this is a queue of planes that are waiting to take off. Uh, we put the planes on the runway, the planes take off, and happy days, once they are in the sky, we need to direct them towards the correct colored waypoint, uh, which honestly is completely fine. I think I'm not going to be able to direct you onto the runway uh, because the uh, because the, uh, the aircraft is not able to undertake the turn. That is fine. Honestly, no issues whatsoever. Uh, this is the little counter of how many of how many aircraft. Oh, goodness gracious me. We're going to get you on a new heading soon. Don't worry. But let's get you landed first. Let's get you out here. Let's get you up in the sky as well. And then we'll bring you around. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Go up that way. You come down here. You can head directly over there. Uh, yeah, and then let's bring you around. That's fine. Uh, if the if the boxes touch, then it is game over. It is bad, bad, bad news if that is the case. Uh, and then as soon as the... There we go. As soon as the this aircraft reaches the waypoint over here, then it is officially out of my out of my zone of control, which means that I don't have to worry about it anymore, which is great because that pink one is going to disappear there. Perfect. And we are good. Let's get you flying up as fast as you possibly can. Uh, we can also like adjust the turning circle. We can get uh, we can make this whole sort of situation a lot more efficient as we go. Let's get you land there. Let's get you not landed there quite yet. Let's get you to go around. And maybe we can cheekily slip in a little bit of an extra a little bit of an extra takeoff over here. Let's get you to land immediately. Let's get you in the sky. Let's get you to move towards a different heading. And once you're airborne, we'll get you moving down here. Okay. It's almost the end of the day, which is great. So far, so good. Nothing too crazy. It's been a little bit stressful, but nothing nothing major. This is like the most basic of the basic, uh, which is fine. Oh yeah, we got a little uh, we got a little queue over there. I should have pointed out. Uh, if we have more planes, uh, if we have more planes waiting to take off that can't, then we're gonna have an issue and uh, it's gonna suck. Now, uh, we got a few a few options. Um, it is the end of day one, and we can choose between one of three upgrades. Airspace increase the size of airspace provides more room for aircraft expedite aircraft turn faster effects can be stacked quite nice or allows more aircraft to hold and wait avoids overcrowding that specifically is in the sort of runway area i think we'll take the turning circle uh, that seems pretty useful to me to be honest let's get you in here let's get you coming around here i think that should be fine don't think that we'll have any proximity issues it may seem a little bit close but we should be fine Let's get the red aircraft to take off in this same direction. And honestly, let's see if we can try and get another aircraft. The green one. See if we can get that airborne as well. Let's get you over here. Beautiful. And that... Ooh, it's going to be a little bit close, but that is fine, honestly. That is completely fine. Let's get you over here, and then let's get you landed. Uh, orange is ready to go on the runway as soon as possible. As soon as that aircraft disappears on the runway... Boom, we'll get you going, and you can land very, very nicely indeed. Maybe squeak another squeak another green in there. It's a little bit cheeky, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. It's a little bit dangerous, but that's okay. That's that's how we live. Right, uh, you can fly up here. Aircraft are going to fly at the same speed, so we don't really need to worry about that. 
That is completely fine. Now, uh, I think we're probably going to try and get all of the aircraft landing and taking off in the same direction. That's not good. Let's see if we can try and adjust headings there. I think we maybe want to see if we can try and keep aircraft sort of roughly going in the same direction at all times. So either all left or all right. Either way, I, uh, I think that's probably a, a good way of doing things. Yeah. And then we can maybe periodically sort of adjust the, uh, the direction that that's happening from. That looks good. Very, very happy with that. You're going to land there. No issues whatsoever. And we can actually speed up time, which is, which is quite nice to do. Since we've got everything under control. Famous last words, etc. But for now, everything is under control. We'll keep it in double time speed. Take off in that direction. Amazing. And up here. Beautiful. There we go. Absolutely no issues as we come to the end of day two. Fantastic. Okay, things are going to start to get spicy, but this is okay. Right, what is this? Allows later aircraft in the queue to take off in advance. A navigation waypoint. Upon reaching the waypoint, the aircraft will follow the direction of the arrow. A hold waypoint. The aircraft will automatically hold around this waypoint when directed to do so. I think we maybe want that. Um, that's pretty useful because that's going to allow us uh, to have a temporary circling space, uh, which is pretty nice. And honestly, I'm I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll worry about that in a little bit. Let's see if we can try and get a. Let's see if we can try and get into a holding pattern like up here i think that would be good let's give it a let's give it a little test okay so it's gonna go around that way we can change the direction if we want to but i don't really need to worry about that right now you know what there's no point in putting you in there let's get uh, let's just get you landed if we can no it's gonna be too tight that's fine get you to land there Get you up there. Brilliant. Kind of missed it with that one. Let's um, slow things down a smidgen. Normal time speed, please. Right. This is going to be highly problematic. I need to get you on the runway immediately. There we go. Take off, please. Yes, take off immediately. Same with you. You need to go up. You need to come down. You know what? You can go into the holding pattern. And you can land. You need to get... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, literally just the, uh, the, the tip there. That's a shame. But you know what? It's actually quite a good opportunity. Because it allows us to jump into... Uh, perhaps a little bit more complicated uh, runway setup. We've got a dual runway uh, at an airport in New York, LaGuardia, I believe. Uh, let's see what this one has to offer. Now, <laughs> given that I didn't perform, you know, tremendously well uh, in London, I'm not necessarily too sure that it's an entirely responsible thing to be stepping up to a, a, an even bigger and busier airport. However, it's going to allow us to sort of put a little bit of flying philosophy into, uh, into things here. Because hopefully, we can try and keep all of the sort of directions... Uh, we can try and keep all of the directions sort of consistent. Uh, kind of samey. Let's get you taken off here. Maybe we have one takeoff runway. Maybe we have one landing runway. Maybe we have sort of, you know, keep the directions the same. We don't have anything to worry about, sort of the wind or anything like that. Uh, it's all fine here. You'll disappear there. Excellent. Brilliant. You'll disappear there. Fantastic. Uh, yep. Take you off from here. Head in that direction. And head straight over there. Yeah, we didn't really get to utilize the... The uh, the holding the holding area uh, very much on the on the last map, but that's okay. Take off from there. Take off from there. Amazing. So far, so good. Nothing complicated. And in fact, I really do like the fact that we've got this crisscross setup. Uh, quite apart from the fact that we're able to handle more traffic, we're just able to like spam them out in 
like more specific directions, which is really quite handy, you know? Right, airspace, navigation waypoints. I think, I think we'll take the navigation waypoint actually. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is kind of what we want to do. So this is going to allow us to specifically set uh, aircraft to come in here and we'll send them in this direction. So what we can basically do is we can say, hey, instead of like, ooh, that's fine. Um, you know, we can just direct all of the aircraft that are coming into land, direct them all down here, and then they'll sort of be punted up, uh, up in the correct direction. That was maybe a little bit risky, but that's fine. See, like this, for example, we'll get you set over there. Brilliant, and that'll send you on the, uh, the right course, which is phenomenal. And we'll get you landed as well for good measure. Brilliant. Okay, we need to hit these two takeoffs pretty quickly. Because we're going to start stacking up some planes. There we go, it's already happening. Get you in the sky. Get you in the sky. And we'll get you in the sky as well. Fantastic. Get you down here to the waypoint. Get you up and get you over there. Beautiful. No issues. Happy days. Uh, you can go there. There we go. Let's get you coming down here. Again, I'm just going to try and direct... I'm going to try and direct all of the aircraft down to the... Down to the bottom. Let's maybe make sure that I don't crash these two planes over here. Whilst I'm at it. There we go. And let's actually see if we can try and land you. Let's not take off. Hold waypoint uh, allows later aircraft in the queue to take off in advance. Maybe, or maybe we just need more airspace. You know what? Honestly, I've not experimented much with uh, a lot of airspace. Let's get you to go around here. Let's get you to go back there. Yep. Oh. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I don't like this. Don't like that a lot. I don't like that at all. There we go. That's fine. Go. You'll land there. You'll land there. Amazing. Down here. Yeah, this is why we need, like, flight corridors, you know? We need specific... Specific flight corridors. There we go. There we go. You're going to the correct place. Yep, let's see if we can try and spam a few takeoffs here. There we go. Let's get another one in cheekily. Head up north. Okay. That's good. And let's come to the navigation waypoint. And immediately we'll set up for two... to takeoffs pretty much as quickly as we possibly can. Okay. A status indicator. Uh, display the uh, aircraft's flight status for a set period of time. Okay. I think I'll just take an expedite, to be honest with you. I think that seems a little bit more intriguing and useful at the moment. Let's go the other way. Excellent. You're still flying in the right direction. Let's bring you down on this runway here. You can head up there. Let's actually get you to go around. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, this is... We now officially have far too many planes in the sky for my... For my taste. Okay, but we're... We're managing. Mostly. Okay, this is... This is officially freaky. I don't like this so much. I do not like this. That was maybe a bit risky, but I'm going to try it anyway. You know what? 
we might just we might just <laughs> we might just manage to get these aircraft landed um sure i'll take exit oh what oh video game you you, you that was that was awful uh, i feel like uh it left the edge of the map. I didn't. Uh, I didn't realize if we had. Uh, if it. If it was allowed to leave the map, but it was on a different heading. Uh, but I'd set the heading, so that's a little bit of a shame. Can we do another? Can we do another? Uh, can we do another one? We can do Shanghai. Ooh, forty-five. Oh, we just hit forty-three on uh, on New York. That's a little bit unfortunate. Well, we can have another little crack in New York. I want to do the. Um, I want to do some. I want to do some better sort of ground management uh, waypoint strats. I think that's the real. That's the real crux of the issue. Uh, also, was I in two times speed that whole time? I may have been in two in two times speed towards the end there. Also, I need to make better use of the second runway. We need to have aircraft, you know, like either taking off consistently, landing consistently. We always need something to be happening. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Yeah, we're gonna have to go around there. That's fine. Up here. And I think we can get down there. Perfectly fine. Okay. This is so unbelievably ballsy. Cannot believe that we did that. But it worked. Okay. Get another one in there. Beautiful. Okay. We are in two times speed. We can we can take we can take a, we can take our foot off the gas anytime we need to. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, there we go. Great. Get in the sky. Uh Give me a bigger waiting area. Give me a bigger waiting area. You know what? It's maybe the least exciting of the options, but it actually might be the most useful option in terms of the fact that it gives us a lot more flexibility to, you know, get planes airborne whenever we want to, to get them airborne. Okay. Just get you landing as per normal. This is looking good. Okay. So we don't have any navigation waypoints this time. Do I want to change that? Probably. I kind of want to maybe put a navigation waypoint like way, way far up here so that we have a big long approach for uh, for a lot of flights. I feel like that would be quite useful. Let's go here and here. Amazing. Great timing if I uh, do indeed say so myself. Very, very happy. We're pretty much caught up to exactly where we were. Which is a very nice place to be. There we go. You'll disappear. Excellent. That was <laughs> cutting it a little fine if I if I'm honest. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alright. You landed, you landed. And the waypoint is changed. Yeah, the waypoints do change. They change quite they can change quite quickly. I think a navigation waypoint is what we're after. Maybe the exit allow us to, to, to change things up a little bit. I think we go navigation waypoint. I think we go navigation waypoint and... I think we do like here. Oh no, we can't. We If we do it like here, then... You see that? That's fine. That so that does work. I wonder. Uh, I wonder why we lost it last time. Then that's a that's a shame. Uh, okay, this navigation waypoint is almost completely useless. I feel um, we can change it though, can we? Pretty sure we can. Maybe we can't. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay. Well, you know what? It's actually maybe not going to be entirely useless. Maybe not entirely useless. There we go. And there we go. And let's get you over there. And let's get you 
Ryan's here. And I'm thinking that as soon as we finish up day three, we should probably think about slowing things down just a smidgen. go there we go okay that's good so that's going to be all the aircraft presumably for day three get that launched up to there that's good okay uh let's take an exit let's take an exit we've not had one of those before this is going to allow us to launch uh, either of the two aircraft in specific directions which is kind of nice actually that means that we can you know Give, uh, give the second aircraft in the queue a little bit of priority, which is quite nice. Okay, good. You're coming in here. Come in from there. Sure. And we'll take off in this direction. Yeah, so if we can try to have sort of a north-south takeoff pattern, that'd be pretty good. Maybe an additional sort of navigation waypoint, like down here. If we could have like two navigation waypoints here, one to direct planes up that way, one to direct planes up that way, then that would allow us to sort of funnel things a little bit better. Okay. Don't like this queue situation that we've got going on, but it's somewhat un unavoidable. Yeah, I just don't want to, I just don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Go up there for a second. There we go. Fly that plane around. And uh, yeah, go back down to one time speed, please. Let's get a few planes in the air before we start worrying about landing. He says as he does exactly the opposite of that. There we go. We still need to get planes in the air. We still need to get planes in the air. Let's go waiting area size. Yeah. No brainer, right? Take off two planes in a southbound direction. Let's get you to go up north there. Yeah. Right. Green is ready to go. Orange is ready to go. You're ready to land. There we go. We can get two planes up in the air by that uh, by that time. In fact, we can get a lot of planes up in the air here. Orange as well. You're set. You're set to land. You can be set to land. You go over there. You go over there. Blue. Let's get blue in the sky as well. You need to go north a little bit there. Your heading is still fine. You up there. Excellent. Okay. That's good. That's actually that's actually really, really good. I feel like we've got a bit of a better grasp on the situation here. Let's get two more two more oranges in the sky whilst we have the prime opportunity to do so. Let's continue dragging you up north. And let's see if we can maybe squeeze you into the landing pattern here somewhere. Uh, squeak a blue off the, the tarmac. Oh, that was so ballsy. Uh, yeah, that was a little too close for comfort, honestly. But we managed, we managed, we managed no issues, we managed no issues. Okay. Okay. That's another really, really squeaky... Really, really squeaky blue. Keep it coming. I think that should be fine. Yeah, no issues. No issues in the distance there. Even though it does look a little bit suspect, we can make it work. Okay, very, very nice. Up to 56. Feeling comfortable. It's all looking good. That's all looking good. Let's head up to the navigation waypoint up there. Which I'm actually, like, kind of digging now, honestly. Like, it's quite handy just to have a navigation waypoint to direct stuff into other directions. Honestly, could probably do with a few more. Okay. Let's get that landed. 
And then before the day starts, let's see if we can try and get as many planes in the sky as we possibly can. Right. Navigation waypoint or a status indicator? I think we'll I think we'll do this. I've not seen how this works. Oh, is this little thing? I mean Is that it? I think that's it. Well, that's that feels like a little bit of a wasted upgrade if I'm honest. Oh, mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, what? What? We're turning back? We lost thrust in both engines? Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Okay, well that was, uh... Very scary. We got both of our engines rolling back. We manned up in the Hudson. Okay, well, uh, I, 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 I don't have the capabilities to. I don't have the capabilities to deal with that. Uh. What do you want me to do? They're, they're just, he's just flying around. Okay, well, I'm not responsible. I'm not responsible in emergency situations. I just want everybody to know that. Okay, ignore the last one. We're too low at this point. Oh my goodness, they're actually going to ditch in the river. Holy cow. This is stupid. Okay, let's get you up to the northernmost point. You over there, you over there. There you go, land. Okay, wow, holy cow. Okay, we get a little uh, a little bit about the miracle on the Hudson. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, I like that. Uh, that was highly stressful. Highly stressful. Aircraft uh, may not touch down as intended due to the disturbance, at which point it will resume flight. Okay. There you go. Oh, goodness gracious. There's just, just too many planes. There's too many planes. Uh, it's This is where my brain starts to just break. Okay. At this. No, 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 no. I put it down too early. I put it down too early. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Now, there's a couple of other uh, maps as well that we can play around with. Uh, Shanghai is kind of cool as well. Uh, there's a no-fly zone uh, near the Oriental Pearl, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, you need to make sure that they... <laughs> you need to make sure that they avoid this this flight zone here, which I think is pretty, which is pretty darn interesting as well. Also, I, I think the idea of having like two runways that aren't connecting is probably about a million times better than ooh, probably about a million times better than uh, than having runways like this. Let's let's do a little Okay, this 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 is nasty. This is absolutely nasty. Can we get you in there? Can we get you in there? You cannot. You just don't want to, do you? Seriously? There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go two times speed. I presume this no-fly zone isn't really going to be a majorly big deal. There's no way that that collides. No way that collides! Oh, that's a, such a swizz. Okay, well, uh, I guess you can't land two aircraft at the same time. That's very unexciting in my mind. But hey-ho. Hey, look. Anyway, a uh, really, really cool little management game, uh, Mini Airways. Uh, I'm If I was a lawyer for uh, Mini Motorways or indeed uh, Mini Metro, I'd probably be in touch with these individuals. Uh, that being said, it's a nice, interesting game. I kind of dig it. it. It looks the part. It feels the part. Um... 
it plays really nicely. I really enjoy it. Anyway, you can check out the demo on Steam right now. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.